Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, it was not so. It was not so. Genesis 1 and 2 does a lot of explanation to us. Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. Key scriptures for this study. There are some people that believe some funny things. Some people believe that Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. God created heaven and earth. And something went wrong with God's creation. Some people believe that that was the fall of Lucifer. And as he fell, he destroyed what God created. Then the spirit of God came and said, stop that. Let me put it together. Don't be believing those kind of unfounded, unschooled stories. Look at what it says. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. Pay attention. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Verse 2. And the earth was, was, if your Bible is mine, I will underline was. He says the earth was without form and void. He didn't say God created the heaven and the earth and the earth became without form. Mm -mm. He didn't say and the earth became. He says the earth was without form, void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So, if he had said the earth became without form and void, that will mean when he created the earth, then the earth was destroyed. But he didn't say so. He said the earth was, and if you read further, which we will do in the study, you will discover that this was something. Something. It wasn't, you know, at, like at. He was making reference to something. The earth, if you observe as we will study, was much more created later. There was an earth created later. Okay? Because the word he used there, form and void, are two Hebrew words. Toho boho. Toho boho. Form and void. Toho boho in Hebrew. It means nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. It means there was nothing. Showing you that before God created, there was nothing. The word created is the Hebrew word bara. Bara, barashit Elohim barat, etashamayim's letter aret. The word bara, which means to bring out of nothing. To bring out of nothing. Because if there was something when God was creating, that will not be creation. That will be design or recreation. See? That wouldn't be creation. For it to be creation means there was nothing before that. So, the earth being without form and void to hoboho means there was nothing in the earth. That means there was nothing before God created things. Nothing existed. He didn't say the earth became. He said the earth was. And when he uses the word darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness doesn't mean something that was evil in that place. Darkness here means there was no light. It means there was no illumination. Then he says the spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep. And God said let there be light. And there was light. Actually, the Hebrew says, Light be light was. Uh, light be 
light was. Now, I close with verse 4. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Let me move a little further, please. Be patient with me. Now, before I move further, you will see that the light spoken of here is not the atmospheric light we have today. It's not the moon and the stars and all of that. You know? It's not the moon and the stars. That's not what he's talking about. Alright? Now, you know why? Because at this particular point in time, the earth was not yet created. The heaven was not yet created. You see that? Look at verse 5, 6, and 7. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning, we are the first day. See where the first day started? Did you see where the first day started? And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. Look at verse 7. Please pay attention. You will like this. And God made the firmament... And divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And so it was. Firmament means space. We look at the way God created the earth. Heaven, water above the heavens. Earth, water under the earth. So rain is not God. God didn't create rain. Rain is not God. God's plan was water above the heaven, water under the earth, so the earth had its own self-irrigation system. That is, water will come out from the ground and water the plants. And then in the sky, water will cool the earth. Okay, cool the earth so that we have our natural air conditioner conditioning the, the planet while there is water on the ground watering the plant. So there was water up, water down, and then the firmament in between. Now, look at verse 8. Let me push a little more, just a little more. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning we are the second day. So when he says heaven, he was referring to the atmospheric heaven. He says water was there. And of course, you know what science taught you in school? Evaporation. Then verse 9. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. Verse 10. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. 11. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass. Please circle that verse 11. It is key. Let the earth bring forth grass. The herb yielding seed. And the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. So in verse 10. Look at verse 10 again. And God called the dry land earth. Earth. So when Moses calls earth in Genesis 1 and 2. He was referring to the creation of God. Not this earth that we are in. This earth that we are in only showed up in verse 10. Okay? Now, we know by study, and now we know we have other planets. So the question is, listen, did the death of Jesus affect other planets like the sun, the stars, the universe, the outer space? Were they affected? And you know the outer space is far, far bigger than the earth. You remember in your science, one of the average stars is the sun. The sun. 
is one of the average stars and the closest to the earth. The sun, if you're going to put the earth into the sun, for the earth to fill up the sun space, you need 1.3 million earths to fill up the sun space. And yet the sun is one of the smallest stars among the world of stars. There are stars that you need 400 of the sun to fill up one out in outer space. It's not a science class. Glory to God. Stand on your feet. That's all I got for you. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for everybody in this building, everybody online, those watching by way of Kingdom Life Network, radio audience, and everyone in this building, social media, that the revelation of God's word grows big on your inside until nothing else matters. Every question dissolved. In the name of Jesus, clarity comes by the word. Your people built up, equipped, edified. And I decree that whatever is not planted by God is rooted out. In the name of Jesus. Sick bodies be healed. In Jesus name. And every believer says that amen on a note of finality.